Douglas Boxer. Uh, I'm the Technical Director of Advanced 3D Laser Solutions. This video is going to be about the Faro Web Share to Go system. And what this basically is, is the Web Share, but being able to run it straight off a USB. So the chances are you've received a USB from us and uh, of a scanning job that we've recently done for you. So how we're going to run it. So you're going to plug the USB into your computer and you're going to get this web share come up in your my computer. So just double click on this and you will notice a start the scene web share to go. Double click on this. Now as soon as you double click on this what you're going to notice is two command prompt windows coming up and what this is doing is basically open, uh, running uh, Google Chrome. You don't need this pre-installed on your machine. What it's actually doing is running the program directly off of the USB memory stick. So now, like you saw it was just running, and then you have your project come up. Double click on this, and what this is doing now is loading the project. And the you've got three windows here. The top left one is going to be opening up all the individual scans. The right one is going to be opening up a bird's eye view of all the scans. And the middle one is going to open up just one individual scan once you've selected it from either of the top windows. So we're going to give this. When you first double click on the start scene web show to go, the process of starting up could take anywhere between 10 seconds and a minute or two. So be patient with it. OK, so we've, we've loaded it up. And as you can see in the left hand window, we've got all our individual scans. And in the right hand window, we've got a bird's eye view of your site or asset. All these individual points now are actually indicating the scan locations. And you can notice there's a couple of color differences. We've got an orange one over here. And we've got a red one over here. What that is indicating is the height of the scan of when obviously the scan was done. So. You've got a zoom box up here, just allow you to zoom in now, or you can use your mouse wheel, but you will notice that the mouse wheel is actually opposite. So your mouse, uh, when you go backwards, it will zoom in, and when you throw your mouse wheel forward, it will zoom out. So what can we do with this? So looking at the top right window still, the first things we can do is take measurements. So for instance, when we zoom into this particular area, and we've got this kind of chiller system. And we've got this first one, just to measure point to point. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on it, click somewhere on the chiller in the corner, and take another click. Now you're going to notice nothing's particularly happened. So what, actually, sorry, let's carry on clicking. We go around like that area. And when you finish, just hit your enter key, and you'll notice the scans come up. We've got 2.28 meters there, 4.8. So this is basically as accurate as the click that you do. If that makes sense, as accurate as you can get get yourself in those corners or wherever you're measuring. For instance, we've got this concrete down here. So if we wanted, we could measure out these concrete lines. Hit enter. And we've got 4.7. So that is the first thing you do. Just taking general measurements. The Second option is the ability to take areas. So again, just click on the button up here. And we're going to take a click. Sorry, that's something to point out. So you want to make sure that everything is within view. You've got this box up here, toggle full screen, which makes it a bit easier. So we're going to bring up the area plan. Our first click, this is a small building. There we go. And click. Hit enter. Here we go. 113 square meters, 12.6, 8.8, 12.8. So again, it's as accurate as the clicks that you do. So <clears throat> we're going to click on this toggle full screen, come out of this. And now we're going to look at one of the scans. So what we're going to do is hover over it. And as you can see, as soon as you hover over these, it actually indicates how much uh, the scan region it picked up on. So for instance, if we click on this one, you can see it's mostly within the building. 
but through the windows it picked up a bit of detail as well. So we're going to double click on one of these and it's going to load it up into our third large screen, our third window. So as we pan across, notice in this window, it'll actually give you a kind of a general idea of where we're looking. So we're looking down here. So first things, we again take measurements like we did up in this window. Take our measurement tool and then oh, take our measurement tool and then we're just going to measure a bit of steel work for instance. So take a click here and measure up, see anything within here. Click again. Now with this one, you're going to have to hit enter to bring up the dimension. So we've finished what we want to measure. We're going to hit our enter on our key keyboard. And you notice the please wait as it. So what it's doing is basically looking at the scan points behind the photograph and then measuring that, which gives you the accuracy. So we've got 1.776 minutes here. Perfect. So what else can we do with this? So the second thing you can do is actually add documentation. So for instance, let's look at find something here. That's going to be good for. Here we go. Our flow meter here. We're going to take our add documentation. Click on the button and then click on our flow meter anywhere we want and then we can give it a name. So you might want to give it the asset number or just like I've done to give it flow meter. Give it a description so you might want to say flow meter for football time. And maybe give it a line number if you wanted to. It's an inch. And the other option is be able to give it links. So what can we link? So we can hit the plus, type in here, links, so we can uh, link to our website, for instance, so we can Google in here, add that in. So the idea is that you could be able to attach documentation on here, attach the vendor where you bought the, draw, uh, bought the piece of kit from, so any vendor drawings they might have online, attach all that to it. So obviously at the moment we're running this off the USB, but if you was running this off your server, which is again just free software, you'd be able to give access to everyone on your site to be able to access it. And everyone could start adding all their links to it. So you might have one person that would have fit, just fitted this flow meter and they've got all the documentation. Again, it might be attached to the server somewhere. So we could just click on this button. There we are. And you'd be able to attach any kind of documentation you wanted to it. So you might want to add PDFs of the drawings, uh, service plans, anything you want. So once this is done, just hit your OK button. And we've lost it. Let's try again. And click on there. Flow guitar. Test. Oh, add another website. Google.com. Okay. There we go. We've got documentation. It's actually added our last one in as well. Because I've done it so close, you can't really see both. There we go. So you can see the flow meter we did first time. So by double clicking on that, we could bring up all the information we gave earlier. So I'm going to go through that again because there was a bit of a delay on that one, wasn't there? So we're going to add. There we go. Nice switch. So we had our add documentation button, click, give it a link, uh, a name, so whatever you want to give it. So you can give it an asset number. So let's give it uh, E underscore that one. Imagine that being your asset management system that you're already using. Uh, add a website. So obviously you'd have all the uh, alarm buttons. .com. That description, uh, alarm button. Okay, right there we go. What it is is there's a bit of a delay when it does it, but it's done it now. So we touched it again. Double click on it, and you better bring this up. I, I think the most powerful tool that everyone's going to be using is basically the the measuring tool. This is what's going to become. Uh, so handy for you within your business. So again, 
measure to point to point. Click there. There. Don't forget your enter button. Give it a second, and we've got our dimension. Now, be careful with your click. So, for instance, if we try to measure this one again, and we're going to take our measuring tool. For instance, if we try to measure this, and if you try to get it in really tight, and for instance, if you clicked out a bit, you're going to notice, for instance, this is a bit of an overkill, but what I've actually done is clicked on the, it's not very clear because I've already got a dimension there. Let's go over here. The point is, is, if you don't click on the vessel, for instance, and you miss it, and you're clicking on the ground, you're going to notice that the dimension is going to be way out. So you're going to have a couple of meters in, for instance. So let's let's try and find a, a good example. Where is it? Oh, it's a bit of a difficult one to show, but just be careful where you click. So I think I've covered. I think just one more thing. The other you're going to notice these pods around. So what these actually are, are your different scan locations. So for instance, if we click on this one, double click, it'll bring up the other scan position. Again, just go straight in, add documentation, or take as many measurements as you want. You can even click on the toggle full screen. So just give you a full screen option. For instance, if you're in a, uh, a meeting somewhere. So I practice with it. Once you're finished, just click on the top screen as if you're closing a normal web page. And I think that's about it. So um, have some fun. Thank you very much.